Today. today we are drinking water. <laughs> hey guys, today we're drinking not tea, but close enough. It's water. <laughs> Hi, I'm Madeline. And I'm Caroline, and you're listening to Talk Architecture, the podcast where we gossip as students and spill the tea on all things architecture. So this is our second Studio Synopsis episode. Yes. And the last one we recorded was about our trip to Chicago. We had just gotten back to Chicago. It was important to hop in the studio and record our episode. <laughs> hop in the <laughs> hop studio. Hop in that studio. <laughs> it's also the very first episode of Talk Architecture ever. Yes. Which since we're recording this, has been released. And thank you so much for ev- to everyone who's listened. <laughs> it means a lot to us. <laughs> um, this, is, it's been some time since our last episode that we yeah. recorded, and we have a lot to catch you guys up on. Things that happen in our personal lives and studio. It's all related. It it's, all goes back to architecture. It, it really does. It really does. First thing to mention, we'll go chronologically here. We got back from Chicago ill deathly ill deathly ill which we briefly touched on in the chicago episode we yeah. were taken out by chicago so For we like couldn't record week. it right after we got back it was like a week after because we couldn't speak couldn't move <laughs> and we were bedridden <laughs> we really were yeah um caroline is very prepared for these kinds of occasions and she got sick after me but healed <laughs> way before me because she took care of herself <laughs> madeline takes advil like daily so yes. first of all her body's just immune to it second of all when she gets sick all she takes is advil i know which is just gonna do nothing like it's just it's basically like taking no medicine it, <laughs> yeah exactly it didn't do anything caroline helped me and then we healed yeah we healed and we were right back to it and i don't think anyone noticed <laughs> no one noticed we were, gone. <laughs> we were gone for like a whole week and we we're like oh my god oh my god gonna, they're, they're gonna miss us it's so, so boring in there without us <laughs> we come back and everyone's like oh where you guys we're, you guys were gone we we're like oh, yeah uh, i've been out for yeah, a week yeah i've been out thanks <laughs> thanks so much <laughs> yeah um and then the first thing we do back in school start on that site model oh yeah because you know we are very inspired by studio gang of course of course their site models are like stunning and i'll say it time and time again and we needed to like get to that standard yeah that's what we were just like itching to do after chicago yeah like we have to start now because we know we want this to be a little extra and extravagant exactly just for like our own fun so we started like a while before our final yeah which has been so nice because i love working on something slowly yeah we started like a month and a half before the final which is crazy it's cr- crazy for us yeah <laughs> but like we're getting better yeah at timing ourselves it's me you and our friend julia we're doing it together shout out julia yep and it's been so fun. We have like designated time to plant trees <laughs> and build roads and bridges. We're like little construction workers. I love a little site model. Yeah, I do if you too. don't know about Studio Gang site models, um, or you didn't listen to the first episode, first talk of all, go back and listen. <laughs> go back and listen. But also, you should just look up Studio Gang um, and look at their site models because that's basically the vibe of ours. They're just so colorful and yeah. fun and filled with different materials. And I Texture, love that. Texture, color. Fun. Yeah, so what are some of the textures that we have in our model? List them off. We've got some paper. Yes, of course. <laughs> We've got some acrylic. Yes. Um, some clear acrylic for the river, of course. Of we course. have some green meany sponges for trees. <laughs> <laughs> some cardstock, some felt, some little wooden sticks. Yes. What and chipboard, museum board. Museum board, yeah, and that's the it. paper, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so fun. So I love fun. it. And spray paint. Yeah, tons we have of spray quite paint. the color palette. Yeah, we'll post on the Instagram. Yeah, you'll see it. Um, yes, that was so fun. We each have a little like plug-in that we're gonna put our own models in, and you finished yours. Tell us about yours. Yes, I, it's partially. It's it's there. It's almost done. It's almost done. Um, just a cute little wood poplar massing model of my building, which so I cute. actually keep forgetting that I was gonna make part of it out of resin and i keep forgetting that i had that plan are you still doing that i don't know i'm like should i even do that anymore because it looks so good i just we're just addicted to (laughs) resin but like it already looks so good right now like i don't need to do it we will find any excuse to incorporate resin into a model like any any excuse like it would make sense but i'm liking the way it looks now but 
Yeah. The resin is just so... I know. I want to do it. I haven't started on my... Well, I have kind of started on my site model, but I am so excited. It's going to be very colorful. Yes. TBD on that. Yeah, we painted... There's like a couple parks near our site, so we used green spray paint, and then we used blue spray paint for the river, Mm -hmm. and then kind of like a taupe beige for the roads. There's a lot of roads around our site. Our site is like all roads. And going down to the wood shop to paint our site model we are bound to get yelled at and we did (laughs) (laughs) it seems like every time i go down to the fab lab i get yelled at yeah no first thing there's like this area where you can spray paint it's um, like unofficially a spray paint area there's like a million spray paint marks on the floor (laughs) and we like go to spray paint and someone's like um are you spray painting you have to put cardboard under that and we're like oh yes yes, oh yes 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 yes, yes." yes. because we (laughs) we have it's always stupid We've things like that, We fully just too. spray-painted the metal floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which was really dumb. But, it was, but like, yeah, it is. It was the cool. whole metal grate is no, spray-painted, it's though. It's, like, covered but in spray-paint. Yes, but, but, yeah, yeah. I get sh- it. You should have known. Um, but, yeah, we did that, which is great. Great. <laughs> Stunning. So we have to make our site model and then a bigger model for this project. Yes. Tell me your plans for the bigger one. The 16th scale. So our site model and our little plugins that go into the site model mm-hmm. are at a 132nd scale. So mm-hmm. based on how big our buildings are, it's like a couple of inches by a couple of inches, like pretty like, small. Yeah. Like Only like three, three inches, inches Yeah. Um, and so for the big 16th scale, that's like 10 inches. <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm going to do... I have balsa wood sheets, mm-hmm. so I think I'm going to do that with some acrylic. Balsalt balsa, wood. <laughs> balsalt. I don't know what it is. I think it's balsa, but I don't. Basalt. Basalt. <laughs> and acrylic, and I have like a mesh facade on my um, building, so I bought this like mesh material. It's kind of like a fabric of Amazon, so that, yeah. And everything on my building and my plans and everything, like the color scheme, of the semester for me is green. Yeah. And Madeline also is using a lot of color. Yes. A lot of color. I'm excited. Your site model, or not your site model, your big model is becoming very realistic, which I'm excited about because I feel like we haven't done a lot of that. Yeah, I've never done a realistic one, which is the only reason why I want to do it. Otherwise, like realistic. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Because it's a lot of work and I'm like afraid of it because it, you can it can go south so fast. Like it can look so bad so easily i know so i'm just really afraid to start it but it's not like our past ones haven't been realistic yeah they've just been like massing yeah exactly when now we're going for more of a planar vibe yeah i feel like i need to do it because i'm gonna eventually have to do it and i need to just like rip the band-aid off and like if i once i do something once and i make all the mistakes then i you know i'll get better yeah i just love the like aesthetic of a massing model yeah but i feel like there's a way to combine the two also, my little one is massing, so I feel like I've already done it. True. Time to do planar. When True. we say massing, we mean, like, my wood model is, like, blocks of wood. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no, like, walls or, like... Floors. Floors or anything like that versus, like, a planar model in architecture is, like, you actually model the floor, all of the walls in the building. The doors, maybe. The facade, the doors. Yeah, like, where every room is, the materials. Like, if something is glass, then it's acrylic in the model. It would be funny like if someone went so far to, as to model, like, furniture. Yeah, I was thinking about it. But it's <laughs> way too small. I realized that my whole building is 10 inches long and, like, that I can't no. do furniture. It would be different if it was, like, at a quarter scale. Yeah. Like, bigger. Mm-hmm. You can do more stuff. But, yeah. Starting small. Starting small. Yeah. Um, another thing that we're working on is a perspective section. Oh, yeah. Which is, like, like a, something new to conquer. Yeah. I've never done one before in all my years. <laughs> in all her wise experience. In all her wise experience. <laughs> it's, like, basically a section cut of your building, but then you make it, like, 3D in a way. Like, it's perspective. Yeah, so there's a vanishing point. So all of the horizontal lines Mm -hmm. they go towards this point that you draw usually it's on the horizon line but you can decide where that point is Mm -hmm. wherever you think it should be for your building yeah or is it the horizontal no that's right yeah 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 um it's it's like it's very complicated once you start but i'm in the thick of it right now and it's like fun once you get really get into it and just start like drawing all the lines because 
we're printing it bigger than all of our other plants and sections, so you'll be able to see more detail, Yeah, which is kind of cool. Yeah. It's exciting. So exciting. Usually we print on like 11 by 17 pieces of paper, Mm -hmm. which when you're in architecture school, like you're going to hear 11 (laughs) by 17 like a million times. 11 by 17. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, this one's going to be, mine's 34 by 22. That's how big my my plot is. Plot. Plot. I think it's an arc D size. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. The preset is called arc D. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I thought I just deleted the notes app, but I just exited <laughs> out of it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm excited about the section perspective. That's the only thing, like, new to me that I'm doing this semester. But we haven't done renderings at UVA yet, which is new to you. Yes. So how is that journey going for you? It's brutal. <laughs> I, I've just, like, been so confused by renderings because it's there's so many ways to do it, first of all. Mm-hmm. So, like... When you're Googling, trying to find videos on how to do it, it's like, okay, but like I don't have this or I don't want to do it that way or like it's just a lot. It's especially hard because it really depends on the style that you want because it might be like easier to just, I don't know, go simple, but you want it to be simple but like artistic. It's, you know, you have to choose your vibe. Yeah. I want mine to be very collage-y. If you look up collage render, architectural render on Pinterest that's the vibe I'm going for I like when it's like kind of watercolor sketchy but that means that you don't do it in a render software which I don't know if it's easier because I haven't used a render software but it seems like if you have a rhino model and you put it in a render software it's a little bit easier in the sense that you just assign material to what you built versus like in Photoshop you're collaging all these textures and colors in it seems like a little bit like a different skill set. Exactly. Yeah. Another thing that you guys have missed is we, <laughs> um, what, applied? What's the word? Audition? Audition. <laughs> no, we, um, we ran. ran for. <laughs> <laughs> we ran for co-presidents of Saga. <laughs> and um, Saga is basically, it's a student organization club at our, the A school, the architecture school. And what else th- is it? At UVA. Yeah, it's called the Student Association of Graduate Architects. Nice. So they kind of just like hold events for graduate architects and like they're involved in faculty meetings mm-hmm. and like certain things in the A school. And it's cool because it's just for graduate students. Yeah. Which it's one of the few clubs just for graduate yeah. students. And we did decide two days before the applications <laughs> were due to run. <laughs> yeah. We were just sitting around and we were like asking our friends. We were like, guys, would you vote for us? Like, do you think we could win? And then we got really into it because we decided to make a cute flyer. And we made like a cute the camcorder like flyer. flyer. <laughs> <laughs> it was really cute. Was and we passed it out so to everyone. Cute. And then that was the scariest part. Yeah, we worked up the courage. So in the grad school at UVA, there's three cohorts. So the cohort is basically like your class. Mm -hmm. And there's the six thousands, which is us and six thousands, our first years, seven thousands, second years, eight thousands, third years. And so we worked up the courage to go over to the 7,000s and ask them to vote for us and hand out these flyers. And it was terrifying. They basically wanted nothing to do to uh, do with us because they're just busy. No, they like we don't interact with them ever. Like we sit side by side with them (laughs) and we never speak to them. There's like a huge rift in the A school between 7,000s, 6,000s and 8,000s. 8,000s a little. But but the 8,000s, it's... It makes sense yeah. because they're nearing their career and like <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to bother yeah, you at Yeah, they're on their way out. They're also taking electives. Like for the 6,000s and 7,000s, your courses are 100% set. Like you can't change them. You're just, that's like, those are the classes you're in and you're in them with everyone else in your cohort. Mm-hmm. The 8,000s, you can study abroad in Barcelona or yeah, Venice or take all these electives. So they're all like doing different things. So, yeah. yeah we, well, part of the reason why we wanted to run is to mend the gap between the 6,000s and the 7,000s <laughs> because they're like cool people to hang out yeah. with. We just like don't for some reason. Just it's like there's an invisible all. wall. Yeah. <laughs> literally. I like I know these people because I see them literally every single day. Mm-hmm. But I've never spoken a word to them. I know sometimes on the sh- on the streets out <laughs> in, in the wild, I'll like pass someone that I recognize from the A school and we just like 
we know each other because we see each other all the time, but we've never said anything. Yeah. So it's just like pass by. Super weird. Yeah. It's kind of so, funny. Yeah. So we ran and then, <laughs> so what happened with the application, not the application. Well, Very complicated. The application to um, put your name on the ballot was that Madeline, it, it asks you like, are you considering <laughs> any other position? And Madeline clicked yes to every single <laughs> box. Well, I- <laughs> and I only clicked yes to co-president. So um, when the election comes around, Madeline um, is the only person running for treasurer, okay. basically. Well, I thought that when <laughs> we applied, we were going to be like, yeah, if we didn't get co-president, we'll run for everything else. Yeah. I just kind of like had that in my head, even though we never talked about that, yeah. that we were going to do that. And then I was like, Caroline, I just like checked like all the boxes, didn't you? And you were like, no. no. <laughs> I was like, oh. Yeah. Okay. And like we had no idea who else was on the ballot until election day. And then on crazy. election day, we find out that Madeline's the only person on the ballot for the treasurer. So yes. she's automatically the treasurer. <laughs> so no one votes for her for co president because you also can't be co president and treasurer. So I get elected as co president by myself. Yes. And Madeline gets treasurer. And it's now we like, have this dilemma. <laughs> I'm kind of like glad about it because treasurer is like a, obviously a very serious role, obviously, um, but like less pressure in a way. <laughs> it, actually, maybe more pressure. <laughs> yeah, you're in charge of the money. I know, which yeah. is scary. Meanwhile, I have to go to these meetings called Council of Presidents meetings with like all the other presidents of clubs in the A school. Mm-hmm. It's like intimidating. It's really funny because you're like, yeah, I have a meeting later. I'm like, we don't have meetings. I all of a sudden like, have, have meetings. Like, meeting. and I'm like, like, yeah, I'm uh, meeting with like the dean of everything. <laughs> I, I flew too close to the sun with this Yeah, one. no, that was crazy. It was really fun running on election day. Like, I can't imagine what the presidents of the United States feel. We were so anxious. I'm gonna be honest, we didn't even want it that bad. I think we <laughs> just wanted to win, and we were a wreck. A, like I we was couldn't like talk. freaking out. I, and know. I don't know why. Like I'm, I can't imagine yeah. running for something that I was like actually was like super super like I need to win this. Like I was like, if I win, that's good. If mm-hmm. I don't, it's okay. Yeah. I did wake up to like seven spiraling texts from Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah. really funny. But it all worked out in the end. Yeah. We're going to change Saga for the better, I hope. We hope. Yeah. We can only pray. We can only pray. Okay. So moving on. If you guys don't know, there's this little tiny brand called Chirp <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> and we are borderline obsessed like no I, we're obsession. obsessed obsession for real obsessed yeah. like i would buy everything at their store if i had the money yeah like, don't give me money because it's no. going there it's just go- give it to them <laughs> <laughs> just give them my money it's founded by this girl matilda jerf it's a swedish based company of course with the most perfect prints patterns oh. textures i've ever seen they just make everything. homeware swimwear clothing and this is just like an ad for Drift Avenue at this yeah. point. But I love it so much. And they were doing a pop-up one weekend, and we both planned to go. Yes, we did. We even booked the hotel. Yes. We both planned. We planned to drive to New York City, New- stay at this hotel for a night to go to this pop-up. Because you get to meet her. She's going to be there. You get to shop the pop-up exclusives. Get your hair done. Yeah. Like all these fun things. And then um, Madeline texts me that it's the Easter. pop-up <laughs> is the same day as Easter. And I'm texting her like, okay, and? And? Who cares like, about Easter? Okay. Like I don't get the point. Well, I just kept saying, I was like, it's Easter. Like yeah. you you understand, right? She kept texting, it's Easter, it's Easter, <laughs> it's, it's Easter. Easter. I was like, I really don't. Like I think I celebrated Easter when I was 10 last. (laughs) Like, I don't know. Well, like Easter, like for my family, we all the cousins get together. I get to see my grandparents and my aunts and uncles. And it's just like so fun and like iconic, honestly. And I like would feel so bad missing it. So I I backed out. I abandoned Caroline. Yes. But good news. She did still go. So tell us about it. I went with my mom. I enlisted her. I was like, hey, I have this hotel room. Like I can Mm -hmm. cancel it, but do you want to go with me? And like, it could be fun. Yeah. And she was like, sure. And she was like, while we're at it, we're going to watch a Broadway show. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to see Book of Mormon <laughs> and went to the pop-up, got my hair done. I got a hair appointment for my mom and she got her hair done. She loved it. 
Um, got to have the Dyson used on her. Yes. She loved that. Wow. Um, it was really fun. Got it to sounds... meet Matilda. Matilda touched me. <laughs> and then I, I like her. said this really weird thing, which I feel like when I see celebrities, like I just like they can see in my eyes like I'm acting weird. But she what was walking away. What other celebrities have you met? Like none. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, when I but meet I, celebrities. I don't know. I feel like if I like, see someone. Yes, like, yeah, I don't think yeah. I've met them, but I'm like yeah. immediately like there's Freeze. something in my eye that like changes. <laughs> <laughs> I did see Julia Fox one time, but Ooh, just passing yeah. by her. Yes. Anyways, what was I talking about? Um, You saw her and had a weird interaction. Oh, yeah. Well, it wasn't weird, but she like she's. She was touching me <laughs> and she like is very touchy and like and she like stares into your soul. Like she's so sweet. I, she's <laughs> perfect. crazy. And as she's walking away, I was like, wait, I have to tell you this. I was like, I know this is so weird, but my friend Madeline wanted to be here so bad. And I have to tell you that she says hi. And I she like, was like, I'm dying. Madeline says hi. And I was like, and that's what we needed. <laughs> Goodbye. It's a wrap. <laughs> I love that she repeated to you, Madeline says yeah. hi. It's, she knew. She, like, she was like, when you texted me that, I started crying. I was yeah. like, she she knows I exist. <laughs> this is the biggest day. I felt like such a like fangirl saying that. <laughs> I was like, I have to just get through it, though, because I need to say it. I feel like she appreciated yeah. it. Yeah. She, she saw that. I, I recognized it was some. Um, I don't know. A, a weird thing to say, <laughs> but I was like, okay. No, it was it was perfect. That was like an iconic weekend. Next time, what? <laughs> Just reading the notes app and you wrote <laughs> what? Casting a little rockite mod. <laughs> Casting a little rockite mod. We have like a notes app for this um, with an outline. Mm-hmm. And she just wrote casting little rock eye mod instead of mold. Yes, I did mm-hmm. too. A, little, a little mod. Rock eye mod. <laughs> That's a spoiler alert. We'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Caroline comes back from New York. I come back from Reston, Virginia, <laughs> <laughs> where I was for Easter. And then our friend is running in this marathon. A few of our friends ran this marathon slash half marathon, and we went to see it. Mm-hmm. see the finish line and everything oh, yeah. and it was the most inspiring thing I've ever seen in my entire life I was I felt like their parent I was so <laughs> proud of them like crossing the finish yeah. line I was like you guys are doing it like you just <laughs> ran a marathon yeah you and Julia our friend we were watching were so inspired they yes. were like making a running plan training plan for <laughs> the marathon next year that they're gonna run yeah and I was like completely uninspired I was like yeah this does literally nothing for me but good for you it's crazy no um Julia and I have already mapped out our plans our running plans we're so excited um consider this our commitment commitment so hold us accountable yeah because we will do it we've already started running this past month they've already told people about it and they've Madeline has spoken about it here so yes yes she's committed so it's happening yes um one of our friends won the marathon yes. which was actually mind blowing it no. was like I can't even tell you how insane it is to me you just see a motorcade won. coming and we're all looking and we're like is that is that, is that him is and that then you just no, like no way no, no way. way he gets closer we're like oh my god <laughs> he's him. he was running like five something minute miles the whole marathon absolutely insane like 30 minutes ahead of the the next marathon runner. It, it, it was it was crazy i've felt so inspired um so that happened the next big thing that happened was prom <laughs> and you might be thinking to yourselves you're in graduate school yeah what what are you doing at prom? what prom um yeah tell tell them about our prom so uva i guess holds a prom for all graduate students Mm -hmm. so in any program so architecture law english whatever grad program you're in um and we decided to attend yes it was a 20s theme um did we buy a ticket um no we didn't buy tickets but i did rsvp yeah. And we decided to go like a few days before because yeah. I thought it was just an A school thing. I didn't know that it was all graduate students yeah. of UVA. Um, so we did have to leave mid studio to go buy dresses. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> and then we just like popped back in being like, hey guys, we're back. Yeah. The prom happened on like Friday mm-hmm. and on Wednesday. Saturday. 
Yeah. On Saturday, on Wednesday, we left um, during the middle of studio. Mm-hmm. Sorry to our professors. Don't listen to this. They and <laughs> didn't notice. And we went to a store. We went to two stores, and we actually found dresses. Yeah. We went to three stores. Yeah. We found yeah. We found two dresses. It like, was awesome. So fast. Yeah. I know. It was great. Um, the prom was actually so fun, because obviously yeah. we haven't been to prom since high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never went to prom. Oh, my God. Oh, I graduated COVID. in 2020. And you didn't have a junior prom. No. Damn. Yeah. So um, that was my prom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is Caroline's first prom. This is my <laughs> second prom. It was so, so fun. Yeah. We I've never, I haven't danced that hard. Yeah. Ever. We made it fun for ourselves. Yeah. We, yeah, we went to our friend Julia's house again. Julia's Julia, getting Julia, mentioned Julia, a lot. Julia. You're welcome, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're listening. Um, and we got ready there. Madeline and I did our curlers in our hair, mm-hmm. um, which Madeline got me into. Yes. Um, which was really funny because I went to pick Madeline up, but I put my curlers in <laughs> and I had to stay in for like a couple hours. Yeah. So it's just the both of us in broad daylight at 6 p.m. with curlers in our hair <laughs> driving to Julia's house. We have, like, the biggest rollers in our hair just wearing, like, pajamas. Yeah. And then <laughs> we get dressed at Julia's house. So fun. We um, we tried 818 for yes, the first Yes, I was going to say. We have to talk about the 818 of Kendall it all. Jenner's tequila brand. Yes. Obviously. Um, and it, like, if you want to have fun yes take a shot of that because it, I don't know what was it was magic in that thing. we had the most the most beautiful night of our life like it was so fun <laughs> no, it was so fun and I, it it's all to the tequila i really I do i think yeah. i think 818 yeah for that. it's so smooth it was like it's it was like such buttery. good tequila <laughs> really i was is. so surprised like i've heard people rave about it but i was like Mm, I can't. It can't be. I'm not a Kardashian fan. I'm not a Kardashian fan. So I yes. was like, mm, I don't know. Like they have a million businesses, but no, she she did kill it on she this one. She killed it. It was good. It like, it was like sweet almost. It was yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thank thank you eight one eight. Um, yeah, after you. we went to Julia's house, we moved. That was the pre pre game. Pre pre game. We moved to the real pre game at our friend's apartment. So fun. I. We just like oh we made these pop yeah. tails pop which <laughs> if you're familiar with the soda brand Poppy yes. we're a, we love it love Poppy our favorite flavor is the strawberry lemonade mm-hmm. shout out and we made little pop tails with strawberry lemonade Poppy and like a little splash of vodka a vodka yeah <laughs> and we they were made them for a so bunch good. of people they were a hit too. yeah they people were liked them they, they were, were actually really good they were really really good like. I'm basically a bartender. Yeah, we got our prebiotics and our vodka all in one. <laughs> it was great. You could say it was healthy. Yeah. Yeah. You, it could, a, it you was. could say. You could say the pop tails are healthy. So we made our pop tails. And then that's that's just the very beginning. Yeah. Then we moved to the real venue, <laughs> which was crazy. The was, venue, like, I don't know how to. It was, it like, was just <laughs> crazy because there's like an art installation connected to it, <laughs> which just made the whole experience weirder. Like, it is just like a bar with like a stage where there was like a DJ, but then you walk into the room next door, and there's like a <laughs> fairy cottage and like all this like <laughs> gauze and like, and, like fabric. a big tube. Yeah. Yeah, it was really fun. I love the venue. And what I loved even more was the DJ. The DJ. He probably thought we were the most obnoxious girls because we kept going us. up to him with with our phones and we would write on the notes app. Yeah, I still have it. Um, <laughs> no diggity. <laughs> and hold it up and, and he would play it because he loved us. No, he he would be like, come closer. I can't see that. <laughs> I'd be like, and yes, I would love you to play no diggity. We requested unwritten, which yes. was a hit. Of course. I mean, we knew that would be a hit. We requested no diggity. That as was for you the mentioned. Mm-hmm. He did did not play Rich Baby Daddy or Troy Zavon. Apparently, that's the line. Yeah, he drew the line at Troy Zavon. He said, absolutely He was not, like, but no. Okay. And then we were requested to play Chapel Roan. And he was like, who is that? Like, he didn't know, but he was like, fine, I'll do it. He, like, looked it up. He's like, I don't know if I have that. Yeah. And then he played it. It took two requests for him yeah. to move on. Yeah. And then he played it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and immediately we get hit on by lesbians. <laughs> Like, no. <laughs> immediately. Like, immediately. Like, like, we turn around and there's two, <laughs> just, like, two girls, like, ask, betting on us. It was really funny because they saw us request Chapel Round. Yeah. And, and like, they were like, that's such a good song. And we we're like, oh, 
Yes, it yes. is a, it's an, an amazing, amazing song. song. We love Chapel Round, but we almost started crying yes. when he started playing it. Yeah, like we jumped up <laughs> so high. We're like, oh my god, it's yeah. Chapel Round. Yeah, we got all of our friends to listen to Chapel Round, of as course, well. and they love it. They love it. I you mean, guys love it. It's great. Yeah, we love Chapel Round. That was so fun. Um, we danced so hard that we <laughs> we were we were sore, sore the next day, but also we collapsed on these benches waiting for the Uber <laughs> to downtown. No, <laughs> we fell over just asleep. It was honestly because of like physical exhaustion yeah. from dancing so hard. We were there for like three hours. Mentally, I was fine. Mentally but physically, fine. Physically, my body needed to rest. We were like, we were waiting for Uber to move on to the next location. Just <laughs> Caroline is resting her head on my hip. We are completely <laughs> horizontal. And some guy, I think the bartender like comes around. He's like, are you guys good? Yeah, he was like, asking our friends. Yes. He was like, are they okay? And they're yeah. like, yeah, they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're, they're, fine, fine. they're fine. Keep they're, walking. Yeah. <laughs> they're just dramatic. Just leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just dramatic. And, and, <laughs> and whiny um yes and then we moved on to this place the whiskey jar where we waited oh. like eons for a pretzel yeah so they have food till 2 a.m at the whiskey jar or something on saturdays mm-hmm. and we saw pretzel and madeline and i are obsessed with pretzels like, yes we go to this place called cardinal hall in charlottesville for a pretzel like every week i'm obsessed because they have cardinal the hall. best pretzel um, and we see pretzel and we're like, okay, that's what we need right now. <laughs> um, and as we're waiting the 30 minutes for this pretzel. Like, they must have forgotten about us. Yeah. I don't know why it took. It must have been fresh. It was honestly a really good pretzel. It was, it was really good. Yeah. And the bartender kept coming up being like, what are you guys here for? We're like, we're just pretzel. waiting. We didn't pretzel. say a word to each other. We were just like <laughs> staring. We were there in silence mm-hmm. fighting back the vomit mm-hmm. fighting it back unfortunately yes cuz i'm just seeing all these drinks being made i'm smelling them being made and i'm standing there and i'm like i've I'm never so needed <laughs> this pretzel more like <laughs> i'm like holding the bar like mm-hmm. i'm just like mm-hmm. i don't know just moving like i yeah. look in distress i'm like <sighs> there are like frat Ooh. bows <laughs> frat bows <laughs> frat bros behind us like knocking us all into the bar <laughs> Stop. Like stop! <laughs> I like I'm gonna have to beeline it to the bathroom. But the no, pretzel we made hit it out so hard. We scarfed the pretzel down in 0. 0.5 seconds, mm-hmm. and then both of our phones are dead. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot about this. <laughs> no, this is the craziest thing to have ever happened to me. <laughs> we are so, we did not think this through at all. So we eat the pretzel. Both of our phones are dead, and we're like, "Hey, Julia, can you please call us an Uber?" Yeah. And then she did. It didn't cross our minds that we had to have our friend call an Uber. At that time, our phones were dead. Yeah. No, we're like, yeah, okay. Obviously, Julia will just call us the Uber and, and we'll, we'll go fine. into my house and, and Madeline can Uber home. Yes. Um, We pre-pre-gamed at Julia's yes. where we left all of our stuff and our keys. Uh-huh. So And like everything. Everything. All we have with us are our dead phones. A tissue yes. and chopstick. <laughs> the 818 is inside Julia's. Like everything that we everything. could need. Our pajamas. Yeah. Um, so we mm-hmm. get there and I'm like, shit, my phone is dead. I don't have my key. So we walk up the hill from my apartment to Julia's. Well, we're waiting outside your thing. Yeah. I think we do sit down at one point. Yeah. My phone's dead as well. Our phones keep teasing us by turning on for yeah. about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, call Julia, call Julia, call Julia. And my phone would turn on. We'd be like, go, go, go. And by the like, way, it's Julia. freezing and outside. Then, yeah. Well, yeah. It's I like mean, it's 50. not freezing. It's, it's just a little cold. <laughs> but we are in like dresses and heels. And yeah. Like, we're not dressed for the weather at all. No, not at all. Okay. So then we hike up the hill. I, when I say hike, if mm. you watched episode one, that hill. Yeah. That hill in front of my apartment. (laughs) Watch. It's also episode two. It's not even episode one. (laughs) You listened. There's a gigantic hill in front of my apartment, and Julia lives at the top of it. Sorry to give your location away, Julia. (laughs) Um, We're just doxing everyone. (laughs) And um, we get up there, and we knock on the door, and we're like, maybe her roommate will be home. Because we 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 just left Julia. Yeah, we just left her at the bar. So we're like, there's no way she's back already. Mm Mm-hmm. And um, no answer. So we're sitting there and we're like, shit. Like, how? We're like, we, we'll just wait for we'll, her. She has to get she here She has soon. to come home. Yeah. If not, her roommate has to come home because her yeah. roommate also went out with us. Mm-hmm. And we collapse on the, we're just like sitting the on the pavement <laughs> right outside her door. Just like 
like seriously, I've never felt so helpless <laughs> in my entire <laughs> life. I was freaking out. Caroline and I were like, we have like literally nothing we can do. Nothing to even do. I was like, because we so. could walk to my house, but the walk from Caroline's apartment to my house is like, like a really scary, scary walk. Like also, you, she doesn't have her key, so she can't even get in. Exactly. And then our phones are dead. She can't call her roommates. So I've accepted defeat. Madeline is like scheming yeah. <laughs> and um she's like well what if someone's car is open mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we tried and julia's this is, car <laughs> this is um a dark dark time for us so we are down bad yeah and uh, julia's roommate left her car open mm-hmm. so we get in we get in <laughs> a car I by the way at this. that point we didn't know if it was her car or not no like, no we did i knew it was knew. her car i was skeptical but then for a second for a quick second the intrusive thought came in and i was like wait this is what if car. this isn't what if this is not her car so, <laughs> so we oh no we can't even <laughs> can't even say what we did i found like a sketchbook in the back of her seat and i looked in and i was like okay okay this is this richmond is, yes. their site is in richmond yes we're good. We're, yeah, we know we're who good, this we're is. Good, okay, this is we're fine. So we're just gonna sleep in this car until someone can rescue I us. I had it in my head. We'll be here all night. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, I I pulled the seat down and I started to sleep. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, you I was cannot like, sleep. You're not, I was like, you're not sleeping. No, I'm gonna be here the rest of my life. Like this is where <laughs> I died in this car. I cannot exaggerate how helpless we were. We didn't even have a flashlight. <laughs> Nothing. Like Nothing. we couldn't even see in the car. Like no. we couldn't see anything. It was horrible. And then there's this like guy outside of another <laughs> apartment just pacing. And, yeah, yeah, which we. You know, we are kind of scared of because why is there a guy outside at 2.30 a.m.? It wasn't that late. It was like 1 a.m. Yeah. Still. And then so we then I recline my seat Mm -hmm. and we're hiding. (laughs) We are now hiding in this car. Madeline's like, get down, get down. (laughs) Get down, get down. I'm like, it's fine. Like, if he sees us, he's not going to even care. (laughs) I was really paranoid. Um, (laughs) And oh, by the way, as this is going on. Like about two cars pass by us slowly. It's very slowly. Like an Uber, but mm, yeah, no. it was like, oh, that has to be them. Yeah, and then it would just keep driving. Yeah, like, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. And then finally, one car shows up, and it's our friends. Yeah, yeah, we not recognize Julia, them. who lives no. in the apartment. No, but hopefully they had a phone. Yeah, yeah, they didn't have an iPhone charger. Nope, but <laughs> <laughs> they called Julia, and Julia came to the door, and oh, we finally. Julia came to the door. The door. <laughs> <laughs> the door. <laughs> Julia came to the door, meaning she was in yes. her apartment the entire, the entire time. time. Didn't hear us pounding on. The, we did the special knock. We, did. we pounded dun, 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 on the door. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, multiple times. Yep. Very loudly. Very loudly. So loudly yeah. that the downstairs neighbors woke up. Don't know how she beat us there, but she was literally there the whole entire time as we are like. In, yeah. in her roommate's car yeah. thinking we're going to fall asleep thinking, out in this car. Thinking we might die because of the cold when it was 55 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was crazy. We get our stuff and I'm like, we got to go. Yeah. And we we left. have to run. Madeline puts my coat on me. She yes. is I put, grabbing my uh-huh. bag, puts it around her neck. Like yes. she's out of that place. Yep. And then we call her an Uber. She goes home. And then, I say love believe me. it or not, we are fine. And believe it or not, we're here to tell the tale. It did last like an hour. We were there for a while. At least an hour, yeah. It was a while. We yeah. were out there. No, it really was. Um Yeah, that was that was a crazy night. The yeah. next morning, obviously we had to go to IHOP. Obviously. We were gonna go to Bodo's, the bagel place mm-hmm. here. That's iconic. But something about IHOP, it just like I need it to made sit sense. down and debrief. Yes. Like, I need to sit down and mm-hmm. like we needed to be in a de- diner, debrief. kind of. Yeah. 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 A lot happened that night. That yeah. story that we just told included. Yeah. And I was still a little bit in shock. And the <laughs> next morning, I really needed to I was just speechless. Relax. Like, I, that was, yeah. That was an interesting end to the yes. night. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. The next thing I have in the notes app for some reason is this thing that happened like a few days ago. Um, Caroline and I. Went to Trader Joe's, walk outside, and someone hit my car in a parked car <laughs> a in the parked parking car. lot of Trader Joe's. Left yep. a note on my car. That was just like crazy. Yeah, this woman tried to get our attention when we sat in the car when mm-hmm. we were getting back, and she was like waving at me, and I was like, I don't know you. Do I know you? Like, yeah. who is this? And then she came up. She was like, Someone hit your car, and I was like, Oh, oh, who? Yeah. So yeah, you know, dealt with that. That's something that's 
that happened. Did Next. our adulting, asking for insurance. <laughs> Did the whole thing. Thank God Caroline was there because I didn't know like even what to ask. I was like, driver's license, insurance. Um, take photos of everything. Take photos of her license yes, plate. Yes, yes. Get a photo of her. <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything. Um, which I did. And, you know, it's fine. And then Caroline went to Providence. Yes. What did you do there? I went to see my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. My boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend. My boyfriend. Um, in the great, the great state of Rhode Island. Providence, Rhode Island. Where does he go to school? Brown. 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 Um, with Kate, who we interview mm-hmm. in the next episode. And it's their spring weekend there, the weekend that I go, which is when they have a concert for all the students and it's just like a big party weekend yeah <laughs> so i just went to party, party <laughs> and it was great yeah <laughs> loved it yeah lots of fun that's fun um the playoffs an- another important note yes. the playoffs have begun for the nba this is all madeline <laughs> i <laughs> my team is the nuggets from denver i'm obsessed with them it's yeah it's the only thing getting me through finals is like the happiness of watching these playoff games. <laughs> <laughs> Such a rush. Such um, a rush. <laughs> <laughs> another thing that's happened is our CNC journey. Yeah. 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 I would call it a journey. We have this class called um, Building Workshop, and we each have to make like a little concrete thing. Yeah. Something structural made of concrete. Mm-hmm. Other people are doing beams, there's like just like a slab. One group is someone is doing, doing a slab that I is think crazy. So. Maybe one do one another group is doing like an earth erosion yeah thing, which is very cool. And we're doing this like curvy shell. Yes, this shell that is giving us a headache. It is so complicated, but it involved like CNCing something. And I don't know how do you describe what the CNC machine is? Okay. The CNC is a computer numerical control machine yes so it basically like has this bit in it that you can change the bit it's like a it carves away at material it's like so a you little can drill. put yeah you can Big put drill. like foam or wood and you take like a rhino model for example and it the software that connects to it will um, create a path through the mo- rhino model to get that shape out of like a mass like foam or wood so it'll like carve away at it to get the shape that you it's want. really cool yeah. because you can do, like, super complex shapes mm-hmm. if you wanted to. So we had to do that. Um, when we had to CNC, conveniently, Caroline had to go. <laughs> <laughs> conveniently, I was in Providence. <laughs> <laughs> conveniently, you were across the country. Yes. And by across, I mean just, like, right up, up there. north. <laughs> up north. And then the other people in our group were busy. So I... Went downstairs and conquered that CNC machine. Yeah, I've Madeline never been so afraid in my life. Single-handedly CNC'd for our whole group project. You could call me the CNC queen. Yeah. <laughs> we should all applaud for Madeline. It was actually really cool, and now it's something that I can, like, check off my list as something I know how to do. Yeah. It's kind of funny because the computer that you have to put the hard drive in with your file is, like, archaic. <laughs> like, it's so vintage It's, like, the oldest computer yeah. I've ever seen. It's really funny. Yeah, it looks really funny. It looks, like, straight out of the 90s. Yeah. Like, it's on, like, a podium thing. It has, mm-hmm. like, colorful knobs. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> it's really funny. But seeing, see, seeing, 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 seeing that thing was so fun. And then we finally poured the concrete in it today. Yeah. So exciting. And I was, again, conveniently busy. Yes. <laughs> I was doing my pinup. She had her but... practice pinup. Um, another thing that we finished today was our theory and analysis booklet. Yes. Basically this booklet yeah. of diagrams that we've been working all semester on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all semester wink wink wink, wink. we did every we diagram at all for this class the night before the mid review the night before did all the diagrams Granted, the final we the thought night about before. it a while before oh yeah we were thinking we were thinking we were planning um, um yeah our philosophy with diagrams is don't think too hard and you're probably gonna be okay better off Yes. I would say. Our booklet was so cute. We bound it with ribbons and bows. Obviously, (laughs) we had to do that. It was so fun. We presented it today. And it's just so nice that now that the semester is coming to an end, checking, like, final projects off our list. Like, now two two classes were done. Yeah. That's so nice. I know. Now we only have studio and design comp. Yeah. Studio is a lot. But 
Design comp is a lot. Design comp, yeah. <laughs> oh. Design comp, we just have to make like this twin motion rendering yeah. video type thing. Yeah. And we're a little bit behind, but that's okay. It's okay. Twin motion is like a rendering software, but you can move through the project and make like a video. Basically, of, like, someone an animation. walking through it. Yeah, an yeah. animation software. And yeah. I have no idea how to do that. Mm -hmm. This started off as a GIS class. Yes. Um, ArcGIS. If you remember Geographic that. Information Systems. <laughs> if you remember from our game night ranking yeah. the softwares. Yep. Which was a crazy learning curve on that. But yeah, here we are on a completely different software at the mm -hmm. end of it. Yep. Now we're, so we're like done with two more classes. Right now in studio, we're doing our final pinups. Yes. Which is basically like... We kind of have to have everything done slash everything is like in, in progress. progress, basically, like almost done. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you just had yours today. Yeah. Which is cool. Just did mine. Yeah. Two hours ago. I know. Um, but yeah, we basically, they were running an hour behind as usual. <laughs> so <laughs> these things tend to run longer no yeah. matter how many times you try to schedule something they always run long especially for like a pre-final we've been calling it the fake final yeah because some people get really stressed about it but i'm like i just can't be that stressed about it because it's I not know. real i can't waste my stress on a, a fake pinup yeah <laughs> yeah like it'll it'll get there yeah um, but yeah, mine went today and it was good. I mean, my presentation was atrocious. Like I really <laughs> need to work on like what I need to say I because know, me too. I was talking to her and she was like, I could tell she was like, oh, like <laughs> we got to redo this whole thing. Um, yeah. Uh, mine is on Friday. Yeah. In oh, a few yeah. days. Yeah. They split us up by weekday. So I'm a Wednesday person. There's Monday people and Friday people. It's so crazy because it hasn't like. Like, I think next week is our final. No, it is. I saw it last <laughs> night and I haven't been able to s say it to anyone. But mm -hmm. I haven't said it before. In now. a week, <laughs> in a week is our final. And I. This week. The, I, that yeah. put some fire under me. Earlier today, I was talking to someone else in our class and she was asking me about like, when are we going to get our models done? And I was like, uh, probably this weekend. That's the only option. It's the only what option. What was I thinking? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I, for some reason, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's one more week. It feels like we have one, one more, more full week. week. Yeah. No. No. Some people have that luxury, but we got the earliest final review day at UVA at what? We the did? A school. Yeah. We are the, like, the very first day that any final review can possibly go. You're kidding. Is us. Yeah. Wow. The 7,000s always get the last one. <sighs> yeah. So next year. I know that. Dang <laughs> it. No, I... I'm not really worried about it because, like I say, everything will get done. There's no other option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there but is it is closing in. It's closing in. Yeah. I'm starting to think, like, I really just need to get what I'm saying, like, thought out. Mm -hmm. Because I think if I could say it really well, it almost matters a little less, like, know. if one thing's a little off or something. Because yeah. then I can, like, always go back to, but this is the core idea of the exactly. project. Exactly. So I really I know. need to figure that out. I know. Me too. But we did skip something. Oh. The eclipse of it all. Oh, the eclipse. <laughs> Both. Two, two eclipses. Two eclipses. The real eclipse and the eclipse, the movie of the Twilight Saga. <laughs> saga. Saga. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. The eclipse, the real eclipse happened a few weeks ago and it was, you know, amazing. It was so fun. So fun. We all, everyone in the school went outside. It was during our studio. We all had like the little glasses, of course. Yeah. And looked at the sun. And of course, as like the peak eclipse of it all was happening, this massive cloud goes by. Massive <laughs> like cloud. The biggest cloud I've ever seen. The, a cloud the size of Charlottesville just comes <laughs> out. Like it's a crystal clear day, not a cloud in the sky and this gigantic cloud comes over. It was and crazy. then like 30 minutes later, like the eclipse is like all over pretty much. Like mm -hmm. the the big part of it. Yeah. And the cloud's gone. Yeah. The cloud is all of a sudden disappeared. That's just like classic. Yeah. Yeah. Had to have happened. Yeah. It was so fun. It was fun. Everyone was out on the lawn at UVA. It was a nice day. Yeah. It was great. And um, then. <laughs> <laughs> and Caroline has never seen any of the Twilight movies. Well, now now I can say now, I've seen the first three. It's criminal. So we're watching <laughs> the Twilight movies together and we just saw clips. Yes. And what did you think? Least favorite yeah. By a lot. I know. Like, I was really, really underwhelmed. I was like, ugh. They, I think, 
Edward does not look his greatest in no. Eclipse either. Yeah. I'll admit it. And it's kind of just one that you have to move past. I'm an Edward fan, and I really, like, can't imagine being a Jacob fan. Even, like, from before I watched them, I was an Edward fan because, like, duh. Duh. Like, People I guess Taylor Lautner Jacob, just isn't my type. Yeah. But I don't know. People who are team Jacob genuinely scare me. Yeah. Like, how? Yeah. How do you think that way where you're team Jacob? We have to talk about the movie theater experience. Okay. Okay, we go to this theater called the Alamo where you get served, get served, <laughs> <laughs> where you can order like food and drinks. Yeah. Bottomless popcorn, if yeah. you will, for $8. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Um, so, of and, course, we yeah. are season pass holders at the oh. Alamo yeah. and yeah. Mm-hmm. we pay monthly to watch unlimited yes. movies. Yes, we there. do. Yeah. And it's the greatest decision of my life. Yeah. Um. This movie in particular is a movie party, they call it, which means that you're allowed to, like, talk throughout the movie, like, scream, like, a little bit if you want to. Express your opinion. With all, all within reason. Yeah. Maybe to your neighbor, maybe not to the whole, you know, crowd. You know, and that is exactly what happened during this movie. We are surrounded by diehard team Jacob Stans. Stans. Who were, every time he came on the screen, they would Scream. Scream. Yeah. And like raise their mm-hmm. hands and like cheer. One woman said, I'm single. And like. And like, yeah. no. <laughs> we gotta shut that down. We <laughs> like, we gotta say like, no. No, she screamed it to the entire theater. And when she said that, I was like, jaw on the we floor. have to draw like, a line somewhere. She was also <laughs> the person sitting directly next to Caroline was like mouthing, not mouthing, mouthing actually saying, saying yeah. every single line to the movie. And it's like, Word for word. Word for word. I mean, she knew the whole script, but like <laughs> yeah. some of the lines were just like lines. stupid. Like they weren't yeah. like actual important No, it was just dialogue. like dialogue. Yeah. yeah. Um, like I could quote the whole movie if I wanted to, but like you shouldn't but be why? doing that. Why do we need to say it out loud? Like just run it over in your head. Like, you know, you know, we know, you know, like yeah, it's okay. Movie You're already theater, screaming. Yeah. Like <laughs> It was crazy. Movie theater experiences are so fun. Yeah, that was the craziest Alamo experience we've had so far, for sure. For sure. And, yeah, I think that we have caught you up now on... <laughs> Start over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I think we have got our listeners up on everything since our Chicago trip. Yeah, I think that we are all caught up. That a is... lot has happened. Yeah, a lot has happened. And... Like yeah, mostly prom happened. <laughs> mostly Big event, just prom and Jerf, Jerf Avenue. Prom, Jerf, a little bit of school thrown in there. Some Twilight. Yeah. Um, a well-rounded month. Yes, our next we we plan to record our next studio synopsis episode once finals are done. Yes, it'll be the ultimate debrief. Oh yeah, and we, we have love to debrief. a lot to say after a review. Yes, and this time like. We're gonna have we're gonna have so much. We're gonna to have say. so I can feel it. We're just gonna analyze our final reviewers. We're mm-hmm. gonna go through like what the whole process of a final review is and like explain it to you guys mm-hmm. and then give you the gossip on who our external critics were. Yes. Because the final review is an experience that I can't it's gonna be hard to describe because it's so absurd in yeah, a way. It's like so it's absurd. so serious too. So serious. It feels like your life is actually on yeah. the line and this is what they mean they the people who yeah. say like architecture is yeah insane but this is really just a three long three month long arts and crafts project mm-hmm. and i just have to keep remembering that, that leads up to one day of sitting for up to 10 hours yep as you listen and watch your peers be brought up or (laughs) um absolutely torn to pieces and shreds and leave the room in tears i'm really hoping that doesn't happen yeah um yeah i hope not either it's some sometimes the reviewers can like go on a tangent and it's like they forget where they are they're Mm -hmm. like not in their office talking to a friend (laughs) exactly like the the people are like right in front of them Mm -hmm. and they will just rip you apart but yeah for no reason like why are you doing that to me yeah i'm learning i'm a baby (laughs) But we'll save all of our oh, opinions for that. Yes. I'm excited. Yes, we're very excited. So, yeah, this is our second Studio Synopsis episode. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to follow us on talkitecture.pod and our TikTok, and you can listen to us anywhere you listen to podcasts. We love all you. Right. Bye. Bye.
And then I think we should talk about what events have gone on since then, including prom mm-hmm. and the eclipse, and then talk about what's going on now. Oh, did you mean eclipse? I meant eclipse in the movie. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I talked about Twilight. That's why.